As a creator, I've always been a chameleon that gets affected by its surroundings, changing colors as it moves. My grandfather was a great typographer in the 40s. He passed on to me his fascination for the abstract nature of letters and their ability to communicate visually beyond their meaning. New York City has welcomed so many artists and has given birth to so many more. From the 20s until today, Art Deco style has been remixed so many times in history, and every moment will always bring a different meaning to its timeless elegance. Creating a typography is a mix between emotional and rational decisions. The design has to fit the story you want to tell. I always start the mood board as a kind of itinerary for the creative journey. As I started to create the designs, the idea of seeing the letters as objects that work in unison started to materialize. There was an interesting concept there that would unify Art Deco and Gigele Lecoultre's craft in clock making. The reversal letters evoke some sort of mechanism. I wanted these letters to feel physical, giving a sense of a moving machine. We don't choose the things we fall in love with, they are written inside of 